we are together again on the radio, and this is good news. It's not good news to some of you bitches who like to screw around or try to get money out of us. But it is good news for those of us who think we could become victims of chicks like that. This story from the New York Times. Genetic testing is now available at the drugstore. That's right. A company called Sorensen Genomics has started selling a paternity test kit through Rite Aid stores in California, Oregon, and Washington. It appears to be the first time a DNA test is being sold through a major pharmacy chain. This is very important news for our listeners. The move into the pharmacy is another in the spread of genetic testing directly to consumers. Many genetic tests for health and diet advice, ancestry, and paternity are already available directly to consumers through the Internet. But Sorensen hopes the corner drugstore will appeal to different customers, including those who don't want to wait three or five days for a kit to arrive in the mail after ordering it over the Internet. Douglas R. Fogg, Chief Operating Officer of Sorensen Genomics, says there is a curiosity and a need to know that can be provided discreetly, conveniently, and affordably at retail. The company's slogan? For questions only DNA can answer. The test, sold under the brand name Identigy, has a suggested list price of twenty nine ninety nine. Though a reporter purchased one at a Rite Aid store in Santa Monica for nineteen ninety nine, there is an additional lab fee of one hundred nineteen dollars to have the samples analyzed. The spread of genetic testing directly to consumers has alarmed some doctors and genetic counselors, who said some tests were not valid, or that consumers might not be able to understand the results without counseling. Myriad Genetics recently caused some controversy by advertising its test for breast cancer risk directly to women in the Northeast. And the Government Accountability Office, among others, has criticized a plethora of tests now available for advising on health risks and recommending diet and lifestyle changes. Kathy Hudson, Director of the Genetics and Public Policy Center at Johns Hopkins University, said, just because something's available doesn't mean it's safe or effective or worth your money. She said most genetic tests available directly to consumers had not been reviewed by the Food and Drug Administration. Still, drugstores already sell various non-DNA diagnostic tests, including those for pregnancy, drug use, cholesterol, blood sugar, and HIV. When some of those were introduced, there was also controversy about whether consumers could perform the tests or understand the results themselves. The results of a paternity test, unlike some of the medical tests, are pretty easy to understand. The box contains three sets of cotton swabs to collect cheek samples from the child, the alleged father, and the mother. The mother is optional, but helps strengthen the results, the company says. The swabs are put into separate packets and mailed to Sorensen's laboratory in Salt Lake City. Results are provided by mail, fax, or on a password-protected website within five days of the laboratory receiving the samples. Sorensen said the test was for peace of mind and that the results would probably not stand up in court because questions could be raised about whose samples were submitted. The kit advises people wanting to test for legal purposes to call the company and set up a chain of custody for the samples, which would cost an extra $200.
at least one other genetic test is sold in a drugstore. Siona sells a $269 service that provides dietary advice based on genetic analysis through Pharmaca Integrative Pharmacy, a chain of 19 stores, mostly in California and Colorado. goes on to say Mr. Fogg of Sorensen said the company now sold about 1,500 to 2,000 paternity tests a month through the Internet and hope to increase that greatly through sales at drugstores. It hopes to expand to all Rite Aid stores and possibly other chains, he said. It also plans to begin advertising the testing stores on the radio. Hey, I can think of one place to advertise it and possibly on television. Ashley Flower a spokeswoman for Rite Aid would not comment other than to confirm that the kit was being sold in the three West Coast states. <laughs> oh, baby. Says here, Sorensen is bankrolled by a medical device entrepreneur, James Lavoy Sorensen. And his company also offers ancestry testing. Mr. Fogg said he did not know if that test would be offered through drugstores. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, this is fantastic. It's fantastic. I think it is so great. So great. I mean, I recommend that you boys go out there tonight. Tonight. If you have a child and you're not sure if it's yours, or you have no proof that it's yours, or you even have the slightest doubt, I would head down to the Rite Aid tonight and pick up one of these sorts and kits. I'd pick it up tonight. Now, my recommendation to you is, if, if there's any doubt caused by the results of the test, don't take the word of the test, then go to a doctor and, or go to a lab and do it in person. Use this the way you use an EPT, pregnancy test, you know, uh, gives you kind of a kind of a guidepost, an idea, are you pregnant? If, if, if your EPT turns out positive, you go to the doctor. Same thing here. This is a good way to get the whole process started. This is what I'd like to see you doing. I do believe every man listening to my show Every man, every single man, should go out and have a DNA test done for their offspring. All of them. All of them. Because I think it's time we find out once and for all whether you're living with a cheating bitch. Who just wants you to pay the freight for their little crumb cruncher. Don't you think this is good news? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. As I have said on this program many times, if Helen Keller had a granddaughter who's a 9 or a 10, that's a perfect match. And by the way, honey, by the way, honey if you're out there, ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> It's the Tom Likas Show. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Becky, all the Tom like his show. Hello. I'm fine. How are you? Great. I just wanted to voice my opinion because this is the first time I've tuned into your show in my car, actually my friend's car, and I'm really surprised and appalled to hear you calling us what you did over the. What are you referring to? Uh, the, just recently about the DNA test that's sold over the internet, over the counter. Through yes, writing. that's the topic this hour. What about it? And you turned around and referred to us women as bitches? Uh, those who would try to get money out of a guy when okay. the child doesn't belong to us is but a bitch. Can, they are bitches. Okay. but can I ask you a question? What about those that get raped? What does that have to do with anything? Well, maybe if they end up getting pregnant by the person that raped them, okay, I think they have the right to know 
I mean, I think that I don't think I don't think you have the right to call them a bitch because they're a victim. If they lie to us and say that we are the father, uh, they're a bitch. Okay, <laughs> I'm just I, I was like I said I never heard your show before, but I'm not going to stay a listener. I'm really not concerned. You're not in the target demographic anyway. You're an old bag. You're an old dried up bag. 46-year-old females are not in the target audience of the show. We, If you hate the show, lady, it's because I'm doing it right. Thank you for keeping our market research straight. You're like a little focus group. If a 46-year-old female is offended by this program, I'm doing it right. Brian on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Brian. What's up? Hello, Tom. Yes. I've been trying to get a hold of you for so long. Now you just talked. You just hit a topic that is just outrageous. I need to know how much does this test cost, and when can I get it? Well, just as I read to you uh, from the story, uh, and of course the story is available from uh, nytimes.com. Um, it is a suggested list price of twenty nine ninety nine, but the reporter who wrote the story purchased one at Rite Aid in Santa Monica for nineteen ninety nine, and it's apparently being sold at Rite Aid stores in the West. I definitely need to get to Santa Monica tonight. Or uh, anywhere uh, probably in Southern California, I would imagine. Well, if it's in Santa Monica, I'll go there. <laughs> I'll go anywhere it's available. I don't care. Oh, my God. This is, I've got a, I've got a four-year-old that I, I have doubts it's mine. You know, um, I have a nine-year-old which is mine, but i got a four-year-old which i got a little bit of doubt. And I need to, I need to figure this out because I'm getting raped on child support. So... Now, keep in mind, uh, and you have to consult your attorney on this, it's entirely possible that even if you are not the father, you'll still have to pay. Yeah, that's what my attorney said. I was like, well, what happens if it turns out a different race? And I'm with this woman thinking I'm in a happily, you know, happy marriage. You know, he's like, it doesn't matter. It's yours. Yeah, uh, he's the attorney. And uh, but that is my knowledge of how it works. But, but at the very least, you wouldn't be living a lie with somebody who's been lying to you if that ends up being the case. Exactly. And, you know, I, just need to find, I need to figure this out with, with her, call it out on it. And, you know, I'm all, you know what? I'm, this is like a success story for child support. I'm only paying $400 a month for two kids. And I don't know how I'm doing it, but it's, it's the greatest thing in the world. It's like I got my own deal going, you know, and... Uh, It'd be nice just to knock another two hundred dollars off that child support. You know what I mean? Well, it would be, but as your attorney said, it's not likely you can. You have I to know, challenge I these know. things within a year or two, depending on what state you're in at the time. And if you don't, you're screwed. Yeah, I know. All right, Tom. Well, hey, thanks a lot. Appreciate the call, and talk to you soon. Okay. Let me know if you do get the uh, paternity test over there at Rite Aid. Let me know what happens. Definitely, I'll give you a call. Hey, can you take me out old school? I can indeed. Are you ready? There you go. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to David on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's going on, buddy? Not much. Uh, I'm actually going to you my first time to the show, and I think it is unbelievable. I... I I tell you what, David, your connection is terrible, and I know that Dean is going to call you right back and try to get a better connection on you. Let's go to Megan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. How are you? Great. I'm a big fan of your show, Tom. Thank you. Um, I have a Ph.D. in molecular genetics, and I'm just calling to say that I think this is a fantastic, fabulous thing that they're doing. Um, they should do it for everything. So hopefully the technology will keep improving and we'll be able to do not only paternity, but all sorts of different diseases and everything else. Well, I, I certainly think that, by the way, and I want to reiterate what I said earlier, um, I think it's great these tests are sold in stores, and I think people should make use of them. But I think if they get a positive reading, they shouldn't take it as the final word. That's a sign you want to go into a real DNA lab or with a pregnancy test. You want to go into your doctor. Exactly. And you want to be checked uh, more closely. That's right, but it's just a way to basically just empower people 
um, just give them the information they need when they need it, and that's that can't be a bad thing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Megan, thank you. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate the call. Maria on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you? I'm great. Awesome. Um, I, I just turned on my radio. I'm on my way home, so I didn't catch the story, but I figured that it has to do with... Um, the mail order uh, DNA test. No, uh, you're wrong. It uh, oh. has no. Uh, these paternity tests, which were previously sold only on the internet, are now being sold at Rite Aid drug stores in California, Oregon, and Washington. So oh. rather than having to order them online, you can drive down to Rite Aid and pick one up. Oh, well, because I, this is the situation. I have a friend whose um, son was. Uh, uh, got a girl pregnant, and he was very doubtful. And as soon as she became pregnant, she completely turned him off and treated him like you know crap, and like, you know tried to get money and uh, real bitch. And this caused a lot of stress for my friend. And I advised her, you know, go online and get a test. You know, you don't need her permission, and you know just get the doubts out, out before you pursue this in court. And she went, she did it. She ordered a, a test online. It's easy to get his, his DNA. But I told her, you know, you have visitation with the child. You know, all you got to do is turn around and swap the baby. <laughs> and uh turns out uh, it was his, his baby, but it took a lot of doubt out, you know. And, you know, you don't necessarily need the woman there to say, here, you know, do the DNA test. You can do it yourself. That's exactly right. Yeah, and I, I think a lot of men should do that. They they don't necessarily need the woman's permission. If, no, they don't. If, it's not that they don't necessarily need the woman's permission. They they don't need a woman's permission. Period. Exactly, but not every woman's going to agree to it. So they're going to keep. They don't have to. Wait, wait, wait. They don't have to agree to it. Oh, I know, but no, nowadays women are such bitches. They will they will fight it, and a lot of times men. Well, they can fight you know, it all they like. Here's the thing: you don't even need a woman's DNA. Exactly. You exactly. don't need it. You can get the kid's DNA and the father's DNA, and you can find out with reasonable certainty whether or not that guy is likely to be the father. Exactly. And and you know what? It, it takes away all the doubt. And it, it and, and, and time, because a lot of guys, like like a, a caller, um, a couple callers ago said, you know, if a child is four years old, you're stuck with the child support. And and, and unfortunately, it's true when when a when a, a not paternity, but when a, a relationship is established with a, with a child, men are stuck with child support, and, it, and it's better to find out early than later, you know. And then the man could decide whether or not he wants to stay. In the well, day. that's the thing. You guys are waiting till the kids are four years old or more. Exactly. They, you know what? They should not. They, you know what? Um, I I have I have a one year old, and I'm not married to my spouse because of um, a lot of reasons, but. When, when when our baby was born, they asked us, because we're not married, do you want a DNA test in the hospital? And and it should be mandatory. It should not be asked. They should do it. I, I think guys should do it as soon as possible. And uh, that includes if you're in love yeah. or the, you think the kid looks just like you. Uh, yeah. Can we tell the truth about babies for a second? Most of them look pretty much the same when they're little. Mm -hmm. uh, the, we only start to see the differences and the distinctions when they get older than the amount of time it takes uh, to get a DNA test done and have it stand up. Exactly. And, and if the tools are out there, do it. You know, because a woman, a woman knows that a child is hers, obviously, it comes out of her, but a man never knows. So if the, if the tools are using it, save everybody a lot of time. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Tom, can you do me a big favor? <laughs> of course. Uh, can you take me out Kobe style? <laughs> of course I can, dear. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, this is Cheetah. On the Tom Likey Show. Hello, Cheetah. Hi, Tom. Cheetah. Oh, my goodness. I have to thank you for announcing this on the air. 
because all of these broads need to know that it's that easy to go out and get this test and find out for themselves. There are women tonight who are quaking in their boots knowing that I'm telling the men to go down to Rite Aid and pick up a paternity test and to do the test tonight. And it's the perfect time. I'm going to get a couple of these for my cousin. Change anything, at least they'll know, and the girls will know what they've done. And we need to know who these sluts, these whores, these bitches are. We I need agree. to know. I agree. And I have to thank you for helping me raise my 13-year-old son. Whenever someone asks him, what have you learned, he has three things. He says, I know about a paternity test, a DNA test. I know about a prenuptial agreement, and I know about condoms. I love it. Yeah, just wanted to tell you that. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Cheetah. Appreciate the call. Here's Tina on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I'm calling because I actually work for the Child Support Agency for Los Angeles County. I don't know if I can say that on the air. Sure you can. But I, okay. Well, I get a lot of uh, cases where the fathers actually, because the child was conceived during the time the parents were married, and even if it's proven that the child is not theirs, they're still responsible. But... All the fathers need to do is file a simple motion in court. I can even give out the number that they need to call out. Please do. It's 213-637-8470. Call the number between 8 and 9 a.m., file a motion, request a genetic testing, prove that you're not the father, and they'll close your case immediately. I love all that. You do, all you have to do is call in. I do get calls and cases where all these can I say bitches? Yes. <laughs> They're horrible. And I think the main problem is that these guys are afraid of the system. They think we're against them when, in fact, we are not. Well, All remember, the... remember, some of us, and I, I've never had the misfortune of having to pay child support to a bitch, but uh, we have read stories over the years like former district attorney Gil Garcetti, who said to the Los Angeles Times that his concern was not whether they got the right person. His concern that the best interests of the child were served and that child support was being paid. And his concern was not whether the right person was paid. And after you read stories like that, I can understand feeling intimidated by a system like that. Yeah, I mean, the only thing is these guys, they're served with the documents, and all they do is throw it away. But all they have to do is a simple check the box, send the paperwork to court, and that's it. You, you get genetic testing free. Nobody else offers you genetic testing for free. You have to pay for it on your own. L.A. County pays for that. All they yeah. have to do is check off a system. There's no point hiding, and i got to say this, there's no point hiding from L.A. County or whatever county where you live uh, because if you don't respond, the county's going to reach right into your bank account and your paycheck and take the money from you. Uh, the best thing to do is to step forward and say, I'm ready for the test right now. Exactly. And eliminate yourself as the father. That's true. Because they're going to get the money. Right. And I think I just want to tell these guys I've been wanting to call for the longest time. And I hear these cases and I I feel so horrible about these guys, but I just want to help them. I mean, if there's anything they can do, just call the local child support agency and ask for the assistance. We're there for them. I mean, I handle calls better than... The, you know, the calls I get for women, I'm I'm totally backing these guys up, and they need to step up and, you know, take care of this. Because and, Tina, need... let, me ask you, let me ask you a question, because I live yeah. here in L.A., and I know people who have been victims, okay? How many guys are paying child support because their name is Jose Gonzalez? And, actually, there's another Jose Gonzalez somewhere else in the county who should be paying that child support. Oh, simple mistaken identity. And we'll take their money, but the guy won't come up because he's scared. All he needs to do is call in. Or go to the local child support office. That's all he needs to do. And we take everyone's money. We take a Jose Jr., you know, we'll take Jose Jr.'s money instead of senior. And it, it's horrible. All these guys need to do is step up and call in. Simple good, good points, Tina. Thank you so much for the call. Tom Likas.
1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I was in the shower, and I got out of the shower, and my wife was checking my cell phone. And I swear to God, for like the last week, every day I get home, she's like, What What number was this? What number was that? Who is that? She's like, Who is, who is Kim? I feel like telling her, Hey, bitch, Kim's the girl I'm banging behind your back. It's the Tom Likas Show. <laughs> Tom like his show from Hollywood. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Okay. The New York Times says that writing the drug chain is selling paternity tests, DNA tests. You can buy them right there at the store. In selected outlets in California, Oregon, and Washington. And I say, go out there tonight, boys. If you have any doubt about any of your, uh, your offspring, now you don't even need to go to a doctor or a lab to get started. Start with this test. And if you get a positive result, then go to the lab, then go to the doctor, and then uh, take it the next step. That's my recommendation to you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Mark on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Father, how you doing? Doing okay, son. Hey, just calling in to let you know, I just went into the Rite Aid uh, by my work in Los Alamitos, and they got them. Did you buy one? No, I don't need one. I I practice your rules and uh, don't have any scares out there. But just wanted to let my fellow brothers know in that area, they can go get them there. Fantastic. Thank you for doing yeah. that. Hey, no problem. So uh, keep doing your, uh, the Lord's work, and uh, take me out, Kobe, stop. Here you go, Mark. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Laura on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi Tom. Hi Laura. How are you? Great. Hey, I want to know if these are legal. Do they hold up in court? No. Uh, and it says so in the story, as I read it earlier. I know. I tuned in late. Yes. No. The story says that it's not likely to be accepted uh, as legal proof. Uh, but uh, the thing to do is, uh, if for one thing, the kid advises you that if you need the test for legal purposes, you can call the company and set up a chain of custody for the samples because that's the real question uh, in using them for legal purposes is whose samples did you use? Mm, okay. So there's a way to confirm that the samples came from you. But my recommendation to you, forget all that. Go to a local lab. Mm -hmm. But it's expensive. Uh, well, it's expensive, but it's not as expensive as paying child support for 18 years. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Well, thank you, Tom. Thank you. Appreciate the call. It's Jamie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey there, Tom. Hey, there's a couple aspects of this story that we didn't, that I haven't heard you touch on, and maybe some of your listeners that are lawyers could probably, um, you know, call in and, and, and let us all know the answers to. I, Mike, what I was thinking of is, after four years, four years, you find out that the kid's not yours. Can you go and and you basically have the bitch tell you who the father is, hopefully, or the multiple people that she's going to name off? Can you have them forcibly have a take a DNA test to approve, or I should say, to prove that they're the parent? And then after that, can you go back and sue the bastard for uh, you know the child support that you already paid? Well, that's a very interesting legal question, but as you know, I'm not a lawyer. Right. Uh, it's a great question for a lawyer. Now, my guess, and I'm just guessing because I'm not a lawyer, is that uh, while it's an interesting question and an interesting postulate, that once the state decides who is legally the father, the matter is closed. Well, I feel for some of these guys. I don't have that problem, but, you know, I'm listening to this, and it's like, you know, I can just see that happening, and it's... Well, the problem is, 
Uh, first of all, the law is uh, very coyly uh, incomplete. Uh, I mean, the, the idea that you only have a year or two to prove you're not the father is, is of course, designed because most people are just so proud to be a father when they are told they are a father, and they hear everybody saying, oh, it looks just like you, and that they don't even think to have a DNA test done. And it's also uh, pretty well known that if you tell a woman, I don't believe that's mine, I want to check and make sure, that it's going to cause all hell to break loose. Absolutely. Hey, that's all I had to say. Can you take me out, Lacey Peterson? Well, it would be tasteless, but I could. Thanks. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. In case you're just tuning in, we're talking about the Rite Aid chain of drug stores. Uh, uh, several stores now in California, Oregon, and Washington are selling a DNA test right in the store. You don't have to order it on the internet. You don't have to write to a post office box. You can drive right down to the Rite Aid and pick one of these tests up. And I'm recommending you boys do this tonight. If you have any doubts at all, Maggie, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? Great. You know, Tom, I agree with you as far as these women um, sucker and saying, the baby is yours. Now, if if the woman refuses to take a DNA test, oh, you don't believe me, 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 then I would say that the baby probably isn't his, but... If a woman would agree immediately to take a DNA test, then, you know, I would say 99% that the baby would probably be his. I think that's true. Yep. You know, if it was me and, you know, they said you need to take um, a DNA test, hey, I don't have a problem with it. You know, why would you? If, if you were sure and, and he was the only one you were sleeping with, then the woman should not have a problem taking a DNA test. That's right. You, know, and that's, you see, that's why we need to make DNA tests mandatory. Exactly. Because then a woman can't say to the man, I can't believe you don't trust me. Mm -hmm. exactly. I can't believe, how dare you say mm -hmm. that that isn't my, your child. That's your kid. And you're, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, you know, and it's just, and I believe now, I'm a paralegal, and, but, you know, I was from New Jersey, so I never went for anything in Texas, but I think that once um, a man is paying child support, like you said, for four years, three years even, I believe it is, that you're a sucker. You know, you are stuck paying that child support until you're 18, um, the kid is 18 years old, unless the laws change, which they should, because that is not right. I, I agree with you. Thank you very much for the call. I appreciate it. All right, Tom. Have a good one. All right, Maggie. You too. <laughs> Hello. Love your show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Amanda on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Amanda. I think people should absolutely go get DNA testing if they think their woman's been screwing around, but they need to skip these tests and go straight to the lab. Like, my cousin's husband's in the Army, and his friends were telling him, you know, she's screwing around with you while you're on leave, and she was doing this while you were in Iraq, and he ordered one of those Internet tests, and it told him that the baby wasn't his, so he went through this whole legal bull crap, and it turns out it was. Like, those things are like the drugstore pregnancy test that women pick up and tell you you're not pregnant, and then six months later you're popping out a kid. Yeah, well, that's true, and uh, uh, the thing is, I, I agree that people should go directly to the lab, but as you know, they don't. This is the same reason why they have HIV tests in the drugstore. Now, you should definitely, if you think you might be HIV positive, you should go to your doctor, but many people are afraid to go. Yeah, I mean, I'm just worried about the guys that think it's not their kid, and then they take the test, and it goes the other way, and the test says it is theirs, and it's not, and then five years later, they find out, it's really not, and they're stuck with years of child support because they tried to save 100 bucks now. Yeah, well, I personally, I think everybody should go directly to a lab and have it done in such a way that the evidence would be usable in a family court. Uh, but I also know that a lot of guys just are afraid, and they're hiding under the bed. 
Yeah, well, you know, I ain't going to lie. We're bitches sometimes. We deserve it. Thank you, Amanda. You're welcome. It's David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom. David. Yeah, how you doing, man? Great. Hey, I wanted to ask. Uh, I just turned on the the, uh, the radio, and um, is there any reason behind you promoting Rite Aid? I mean, I make, I'm sure they're going to love the advertising you're giving. I'm not, I'm not promoting Rite Aid. It's a story in the New York Times that says that it's Rite Aid stores in California, Oregon, and Washington that are doing this. I don't know of other drug stores that are doing it. If they are, I'll be happy to tell people those names as well. Well, I mean, like I said, I'm sure they're loving the advertising. Can I ask, if, uh, do you own any stock in Rite Aid? Nope. Cool. Well, I appreciate the story. And uh, and, I and remember, I, again, I read this story out of the New York Times, and it mentions Rite Aid in the headline. Hey, so I mean, for, if for there are the other... Out there, if there are... Going through... Uh, fraternity or custody issue, and uh, believe it or not, uh, from what he's telling me, uh, the Department of Child Support Services knows that he's not the father, but they're dragging their feet because uh, they know once that they uh, go to court, he uh, she'll lose the child support, basically. So uh, I'll have to give him a call, let him know about this test. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Aisha. On the Tom Likas show, hello. Hi, Tom. Um, I've uh, first time, and I've been listening for about a year now. And ever since I first tuned in, I was like, man, this this show is amazing. And you know, again, this is coming from a 22 year old female African American, and I absolutely love listening to your show. Thank you. Um, with the topic, I was curious if you happen to know, can you test? Um, the paternity uh, with siblings. Could you use the test to figure out if two siblings are related? Now, I that's beyond my grasp. Um, okay. I, I put it this way. I think well, the only thing you can test with a DNA test is whether a particular person is likely to be the father. Now, it says here there are tests, and I want to get this exactly right. There are tests for ancestry as well. Okay. But it's not this test. It's a different test. Okay, well, thank you very much, and could you take me out Kobe Bryant style? You bet I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 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 One last call this hour. Kelly, I've got less than a minute. Hey, Tom. I want to say, you know, when the guys go to court, they have the right to contest their their parenting. But they don't because women say, I can't believe you don't believe me. I just had a baby. I can't believe you would say something like that. What do you think? And a lot of guys get intimidated by that. But when they're in court and the judge says, you contest this child, why don't they speak up and say, yeah, I do? Well, I think if they had the DNA evidence with them in hand, I think they might be more likely to do that. The Tom Likas Show.